For the second time in less than a week, a lunar lander has touched down on the moon's surface. Thursday's landing has been shrouded in a bit of mystery, though. Houston-based aerospace company Intuitive Machines is communicating with its Athena lander, but the spacecraft does not appear to have landed upright, and its exact location on the moon's surface is unconfirmed. CBS News' Bill Harwood tells us more. It was a disappointing day for Intuitive Machines. That's the Houston-based company that built the Athena lander as a commercial venture. They got to the moon okay, they got to the surface okay, but the final minutes of the descent are shrouded in a little bit of a mystery. The telemetry was confusing. It took them a while to figure out exactly what happened, and in the end, they think it has tipped over on its side. Uh, the spacecraft is still alive. They've got data coming from it, and they can send commands to it. Uh, but it's not yet clear what, if any, of its scientific objectives can still be carried out. Uh, this was a very ambitious mission to start with. The lander came down near the south pole of the moon. That's where NASA plans to send astronauts to search for ice and permanently shadowed craters. In fact, one of the payloads on this spacecraft was a hopper, rocket-powered hopper that was designed to bounce around the landing site and into one of those permanently shadowed craters. There were rovers on board, uh, cellular telephone equipment for communications, a drill to probe beneath the surface for the landing site. Uh, all of that's up in the air right now. Uh, company officials say they still might be able to carry out some of these missions, but they're not sure which one's quite yet. They hope to get pictures of the lander from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter that will indicate exactly how it's oriented, and that, of course, is going to tell them what payloads can be activated and how. So we're just going to have to wait and see uh, what, what they might be able to get out of this mission in its current state lying tipped over on the surface of the moon. Back to you. Bill Harwood, thank you.